Hello and welcome to Azure Lane Meta. Today we are going to be doing an update video on the meta analysis for the month of December. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Like I said, today we're going to be doing a meta-analysis video for December. I apologize that it ended up being a little bit later than I wanted to get it out due to the holidays. Also, one last thing is before you watch this video, you should go back and watch the meta-analysis video for the month of November. And the reason is because this video, I am going to skip over all of the disclaimers and the information about how the data is collected so that we can kind of save some time. So if you are interested in that, go check out that video, watch the first half of that video, and that will explain pretty much everything that you need to know. All right, so the first thing we're gonna take a look at, and remind you, we are only taking a look at the two seasons, the season that ended on December 8th and the season that ended on December 22nd. And we're looking at the top 100 players of the defense fleet. So what we see here is, as we expected, we see an increase in the usage of War Spite, and that is because War Spite Retrofit came out in this time and started to use some usage. We don't see too much of a decline in the use of Amagi or Hiru. We also see slight decline in the use of Nagato, but not too significant. And Enterprise is still there. We do see an uptick in the use of Monarch. We can assume that's kind of with War Spite. And so that's kind of what we're looking for, the raw numbers. In terms of the Vanguard fleet, we see Yukikaze and Juno leading the pack as they have every week. Those are the two best Vanguard fleets. We see a little bit mix up in this last week where we see Jinsu just barely creep up past and tie Belfast. We see St. Louis staying also in that top five as well. And a little bit of uptick in Baltimore and Neptune in the last week or the last season, sorry, as well as Rune. So those are some of the some of the Vanguard fleets, which are kind of a little less team oriented and more just kind of throw in the best one that we can have. So now we'll take a look here at the pivot table for the season ending on December 22nd. We do see that Namagiru is still the most popular single back fleet that we have, but we see that Namagi has some new entrance in the usage of War Spite. And most of the others, we see some uptick in just the use of throwing War Spite everywhere. One of the reasons why I wanted to get a meta analysis video out for this month is because Frederick de Grasse comes out for... Basically, you can you can have her right now, but you won't be able to have her fully limit breaked and you know relevant for PvP for a little while. But probably by the time I do this video again, maybe in a month or so, you'll start to see her used in PvP teams. So I wanted to put this out before FDG ends up becoming a meta relevant ship, and also we get to track kind of how War Spites effect on the first month since release. One last thing I want to mention before we switch over to the Vanguard ships is that not only has the usage of Akagi and Kaga decreased, but the usage with Nagato has decreased. And what that tells me, what that signifies, is that this might be people who are newer and don't necessarily have all the optimal ships like uh, Nagato and Amagi, and they have to rely on newer ships like Taiho or War Spite Retrofit in order to fill out their team because Akagi and Kaga are both farmable through the main story, so you can get them right off the bat as a new player. So we kind of start to see a fall in them, not only in the raw numbers, but also in how many they're used with what I'd call their optimal pairs. The Vanguard composition changes have not really been too drastic or interesting. We still have our main two fleets being Juno, Yukikaze, and St. Louis, as well as Juno, Yukikaze, and Belfast. Pick your poison. Uh, we also see a good amount of Jinsu fleets where you run Jinsu, Yukikaze, and either Juno or Ainami, and that for the high de torpedo damage fleets. And that's really what we're going to be running. Otherwise, you maybe throw in a Rune or a Neptune to replace the uh, St. Louis or Belfast. Next, we'll take a look at the heat map. We've edited the heat map a little bit since the last 
video. So on the downside, we are only including ships that have two or more fleets that they were used in. This is because it just gets too bulky and they're not super relevant if they're only used once because it's just going to say 100% for every ship that's used. Now going across, we do use every ship so that we can add up to 100% times how many ships they go with so that the main fleet will have 200% for main fleets and 300% for Vanguard and vice versa for the vanguard fleet we also put them in alphabetical i mean not no longer put them in alphabetical order we put them in usage order this way we can start to see like more of the relevant statistics all in one place towards the beginning and if you want to get to some of the fringe candidates on on usage we can see there and you can also because of the way the system is set up you can kind of infer which ships are used if you have them in the the one usage ships here so nothing actually too much changed. We see that War Spite, 55% of fleets that used War Spite used Nagato. And that is pretty high because only 25% of fleets that used War Spite used Monarch. So we still see that one of the more optimal ways to use War Spite is going to be with the Namagi fleet rather than with Monarch and Queen Elizabeth. We do also see here that the usage of Enterprise with Namagi has pretty much stopped existing it used to be a popular option other than hero it is no longer really an option that many people use however enterprise is still being used in war spite and monarch fleets so that's an interesting choice where she's kind of adapted to a new fleet she's found a new home so we'll take a look here at the pie chart of the fleet compositions for december 22nd the season that ended that season so we see that Namagi fleets, which consist of any fleet that has Nagato and Amagi, so they could include a Hiru, which is the most popular option, or it could include Warspite or Enterprise, which are the two less popular options. Those fleets are still on top. We did see a decrease in the usage of Namagi Ru, but only slightly, and it pretty much in terms of the Namagi fleet, all of the fleets that had Namagi Ru, a lot of them just switched to Namagi with Warspite, so not there. One of the significant losses we see here is Akaga fleets. We see a lot of decrease in the usage of Akaga fleets. We saw that in the season before that as well, and it only further declines here. We see pretty much the extinction of any other IJN fleets that don't have Nagato in them, and like all the carrier pairs, the bunnies, the swans, the the foxes, just not being used. Queen Elizabeth did not see the uptake that we thought she would take, possibly with Warspite. She is looking like not to be the correct option, at least for high-end meta, in terms of a fleet that you can do. Now, if you do have a budget-friendly fleet, or you're late to the game, you joined a little bit later, she is a good option for non-event exclusive, but she's just not seeing a lot of play. HMS Backline, as we defined, is pretty much any fleet that has two HMS ships, so a lot of them are Warspite Monarch. That's probably the most common one. But remember that Centaur and Formidable are included as popular meta ships for even PvP. Not so they're a little bit slow. At least Formidable is a little bit slow. Centaur is a little bit weak in terms of her defense. But they are both used quite frequently in other fleets and is HMS backline. So keep that in mind. USS Carrier Fleet saw a significant increase. I like to think that was partly due to me. Obviously, one of the top 100 fleets here that uses the USS Carrier Fleet is me from this other video that we did. And we're hoping that we created a trend. But um, yeah, a, a strong increase in the USS Carrier Fleet. This might just be a little bit of noise week to week. We'll see if it is a sustained trend on our next video. We saw basically USS Battleship fleets go extinct, maybe with the release of USS Georgia that will increase in the future. I don't really see a significant usage of the Battleship fleets until we get things like Iowa in the future. KMS is still lonely in the side corner with the least amount of any of the major factions, and maybe FDG will give them the bump they'll need by the next time we do this video to be more than just a few ships every week. The other category has grown. This is because the Nagato Hiru War Spite fleet has become very popular. It's just kind of putting three really strong ships in PvP together. War Spite can delete delete a, a carrier. And then you have Hiru that just lives forever. And Nagato just being probably a ship that many meta people have all the way 
max affinity, max leveled everything already, and you put that together with some vanguard ships from the ijn faction and you got yourself a pretty strong fleet so we see a lot of those fleets obviously gene bart also throws in the other category i i might actually just change to look at ships with gene bart and call them the french ships because uh there's enough ships that do gene bart and we might have to do just like uh something with the other category but a lot of the other category like i said is just arbitrarily throwing in good ships together and usually when you throw that Nagato, Warspite, Hiru ship. There's not really too much synergy there. Obviously, Hiru is boosted by Nagato, but we are seeing largely just throwing the best ships that you have. And we'll, so we're going to keep that other category for this for this video. We'll see if we'll have to change it in the future if that starts being the most popular fleet. But it's still only, I think, only 5% of fleets are running that fleet and then the other five percent are kind of actual other stuff and then also gene bart exists last but not least for our meta analysis video we're going to take a look at our graph over time now with four seasons in there it's starting to look less pitiful hopefully as time goes on we'll get a good chart here but so we'll, we'll look at it very briefly we see that namagi fleets pretty much stayed even we see that severe decline in the Akaga fleets. We saw a spike in the HMS fleets with the War Spite in the third season, ending on December 8th, and they kind of went back down. We saw this last spike in the USS fleets. We'll see if that is a continued trend. We see Queen Elizabeth slightly decrease. We see all the minor fleets slightly decrease, and we start to see kind of the meta ships solidify. We see that other category increase, mostly on the back of using the War Spite Hiru Nagato fleet that is categories in other currently and that's really what we have so maybe when we get you know 52 weeks here or you know so that would be 26 seasons uh we'll have a good graph over the year thank you guys for watching i hope this video was informative if you like this video please subscribe to the channel we have more videos like this coming we also have some guides for newer players if you want to support our channel we are growing you can subscribe you can like you can comment videos we also have a twitter that you can follow and a discord that you can join where you can ask more personalized questions i'm, I'm on there as well and of course you can always ask them here in the comments or on reddit and i might get to them as well so thank you guys for watching take care